the map the accounting for all the bonds. This is what chemistry is, is when you're drawing these structures, carbon has to have the four, the tetrahedral, they call it. Tetrahedral is a geometric space thing that it takes up. But four bonds is what it takes here. So when you're looking now, you got one, two, three, that's going to need a dot. One, two, three. This is filling another ring there. So that gets a dot, that gets a dot, that gets a dot. We have another ring to do, though. But we're not afraid because we know they're just diamonds. This is a six-membered ring that goes there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, we could have drawn this better, but we were kind of in a hurry here. So there's two double bonds on this thing. So let's just draw two there. One, two. And now just go through with the red dot and fill anybody that needs one. It looks like, since I drew this sloppy, I better clean it up a little bit. There's a diamond. There's a diamond. So we look at the bottom there. Dot. Dot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Ooh, look at there. Huh? One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is the chemical structure for tryptophan. Now it looks silly and I'm drawing it real fast and sloppy, I apologize. But do you see I'm showing you the technique? Drawing the shapes, filling the little dots. I mean, this is, oh, if I'd have learned this, I would have aced the introductory chemistry. I always learn stuff after the test, so I didn't get really good grades, but I learned the stuff. Some people just moved on, never learned it. That's what's so heartbreaking. Okay, we need our template here for the nitrogen triangle. We need the carbon diamond. So I was thinking you could do like little rubber stamps for this. Once we got that, because we're just lining it up so that we can line them next to each other. So here's, we're going to put this diamond in the middle. This arm always goes to the bottom. That arm goes to the top of the nitrogen. Now, comes down probably to a carbon. The one I picked to do won't do that. And the next one we're going to do here is a, hmm, we're going to save that one. We're going to do methionine. This is the other one that has the sulfur in it. So all we need here are two diamonds. And we need a sulfur. Let's see if I can get my yellow here. Sulfur is in the same family as oxygen, so it gets a circle. And it's going to have two bonds. So one is to that carbon. The other one, just like an OH. Or actually, this one actually goes to a methyl group on the end of it. So this sulfur isn't at the end of the chain like our other one was, the cysteine. So we got the two bonds on the S. Since we got our pen here, we'll do the colorful art stuff. So we'll draw that. Methyl, see the three reds on there? These are just typical carbons coming along the chain here. Okay. We'll do that. We'll use our green up here for this. That's it. This is known as methionine. Meth Thionine. Most bacterial codes of the DNA, the messenger RNA comes out to code for a protein. The first one is always coded for methionine. How interesting, huh? It's one with the sulfur on it. There's only two of these that have sulfurs, cysteine and methionine. So see how simple that is? We're just going along, cruising with the triangles. 
Oop, your template. Oop, we'll do our carbon diamond first. Mark for our nitrogen. Nitrogen triangle. Carbon diamond. Yeah, I try and get fancy and all I do is end up making it messier. Yeah. This arm goes to the bottom. That arm to the top. This goes down. It's probably always going to go to a diamond, so there's a diamond. We're going to start working backwards. Um, let's see. What's my working day there? Uh, did those, did those, did those, did those, did those. Okay, well... Kind of messed it up here, folks. I apologize. We'll see if we can fit this one in here. We got this to a ring with nitrogens in it. So we're going to go down to a diamond. The diamond is going to go and get another diamond. It's going to be a five membered ring. So the next two that this goes to are going to be triangles. So see, we're not fearful at all, are we? We're just, hey, it needs a nitrogen? Fine, we'll just put all the triangles in there. What do you think the triangles go to? A diamond? Okay, well, the diamond gets arms. Now, does that look scary? Hmm? A couple double bonds in here, so we'll throw one there. Another double bond is on one of the nitrogens. So this gets a little complicated here that we're going to have to pick one of these. It really doesn't matter. So for art's sake, we'll go that way. So that nitrogen's covered. This nitrogen here, however, has one, two. So let's do our dots. Fill in the dots here. One, two, three. Dot. Dot, 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 dot. Those guys are covered. One, two, three. Hmm. One, two, three. See, I'm trying to correct myself, make sure I don't do this. So the nitrogens actually get dots on them. And this gets tricky because the electron pair of that is what does it. So it gives it a plus over ch all charge on that end. So we color that end in, in red. And one, two, three, dot on that. I'm pretty sure there's a dot on that one. That's why I'm standing there debating if I should do it or not. So this is beyond the introductory level because this is one of the harder ones. This nitrogen here is going to end up getting an extra proton on it, which gives it a plus charge because of the double bond and the electron pair. Because I haven't been drawing the electron pairs in here on this. Remember the alien? Alien nitrogen? So that's really the way the end looks. But I didn't want to confuse anybody more than I had to. So I think that's kind of neat. You got the little... Uh, draw color coded here. So a nitrogen member, a triangle, this would be ammonia, let's say. So NH3, 1H, 2H, 3H. But what nitrogen has, remember, is a lone pair of electrons in there. It all goes back to that octet thing. So if you draw it in there like that, I tend to call this the the nitrogen alien, the ammonia, ammonia alien or something. So that lone pair of electrons is how that there gets to plus, gets to hold an extra proton in there. Because it's got an electron pair in there. So there goes the alien. He's going to fly away. This amino acid is called histidine. His Histidine, histidine, his is the three-letter designation. Is there one with her? We don't know. So histidine is kind of complicated, but we weren't afraid, were we? Because it's just diamonds, triangles, and circles. 
So we're coming around.